Hello, everybody. The economic numbers just came out. They're very, very good. Our country's doing unbelievably well economically. Most of you don't report that because it doesn't sound good from your perspective, but uh, the country's doing really, really well. We have a lot of very exciting things going on. A lot of companies will be announcing shortly they're moving back into the United States. They're all coming back. They want to be where the action is. Uh, I'm heading to the border. We're building a lot of wall. We're going to show you a section. And a lot of things are happening. A lot of very positive things are happening. Well, I personally think uh, the Fed should drop rates. I think they really slowed us down. There's no inflation. I would say in terms of quantitative tightening, it should actually now be quantitative easing. Uh, very little, if any, inflation. And I think they should drop rates and they should get rid of quantitative tightening. You would see a, a rocket ship. Despite that, we're doing very well. Uh, we're going in a little different direction. Ron's a good man, but we're going in a tougher direction. We want to go in a tougher direction. Mr. President, David? what exactly is offensive about Joe Biden's behavior, and are you the right messenger? Yeah, I think I'm a very good messenger, and people got a kick out of it. Uh, he's going through a situation. Let's see what happens, but people got a kick. We got to, we got to sort of smile a little bit, right? No, I don't see Joe Biden as a threat. No, I don't see him as a threat. Uh, I think he's only a threat to himself. I just don't see him as a threat. He's been there a long time. His record's not good. Uh, he'd have to run on the Obama failed record. You look at what happened with so many different things. North Korea, the Middle East, the economy never got going. No, I don't think Joe's a threat. I'd love him to be. I mean, look, I'd be happy with any of them, to be honest. Uh, I never changed my mind at all. Uh, I may shut it down at some point, but I'd rather do tariffs. So Mexico, I have to say, has been very, very good. You know that over the last four days since I talked about shutting down the border. Uh, if they continue that, uh, everything will be fine. If they don't, we're going to tariff their cars at 25 percent coming into the United States. So every time they make a car, it's a 25 percent tariff. That means we make money as opposed to lose money. We probably bring those car companies back into the United States. But if, on the other hand, it doesn't work, which it will, 100 percent, the tariffs will work just like they've worked with steel. Our steel industry is so hot right now because of what I did with tariffs. Same thing with aluminum. They'll work. But if it didn't work, I will close the border. I also am looking at an economic penalty for all of the drugs that are coming in through the southern border and killing our people. Uh, the China meeting was a big success. I think we're going to have a, uh, look, we have a very good relationship. We're going to see. I don't want to predict a deal or not a deal, but we're very well along. We've really negotiated probably the two hardest points very successfully for our country. And China understands. You know, China has taken advantage of our country for 30 years. And we can't do that anymore. Not with me. Because Mexico has been absolutely terrific for the last four days. They're apprehending everybody. Yesterday, they apprehended 14, 1,400 people. The day before, it was 1,000. And if they apprehend people at their southern border, where they don't have to walk through, uh, that's a big home run. We can handle it from there. It's really good. Now, Congress has to act. They have to get rid of catch and release, chain migration, visa lottery. They have to get rid of the whole asylum system because it doesn't work. And frankly, we should get rid of judges. You can't have a court case every time somebody steps their foot on our ground. So very important that Congress acts. But Mexico, for the last four days, it's never happened like that in 35 years. Did you 
This will supersede USMCA. USMCA is a great deal, and it's very good for Mexico, but this will supersede USMCA. Mr. President, are you going to the correspondence center, or are you going to hold a rally? I'm going to hold a rally. It's not a correspondence center? Yeah, because the dinner is so boring and so negative that we're going to hold a very positive rally. And so, uh, we haven't determined. We have about three sites. Everybody wants it. It'll be a big one. But uh, the correspondence dinner is too negative. I like positive things, okay? No, they've already got it. He's old news. Uh, he lied numerous times during his last testimony. They've had that for many months. Oh, I don't know. That's up to whoever handles it. I don't know. Hey, I'm under audit. But that's up to whoever it is. I, from what I understand, the law is 100% on my side. Mr. Venezuela is a mess. This is what socialism brings. You elect a socialist here, you'll have the same exact countries you have in Venezuela. Thank you.